This video shows the sand casting process to make a mold to produce aluminum castings. This particular item is the handle for a snake catcher. The match plate makes four handles at one time. Once the match plate is set between the two halves of the wooden flask, the molder dusts a non-silica parting on the pattern so sand won't stick to it. To get only small particles of sand against the surface of the pattern, he riddles moist sand, which is coated with bentonite clay. The clay bonds the sand grains together so the block of sand will not crumble. He uses an air rammer to compact the sand. To further compact the sand, the jolt squeeze molding machine jolts the mold. He sets on a bottom board which will end up underneath the mold. To make the top half of the mold or cope, he repeats the process parting dust, riddling facing sand, and compacting backup sand. He sets a squeeze board on top of the mold. The jolt squeeze machine pneumatically squeezes down on the squeeze board and up on the bottom board to further compact the sand. The top squeeze board left a depression on top of the mold for a pouring basin. The brass tube, which is pushed down to the match plate, cuts a sprue passageway for molten metal to enter the mold. An air vibrator attached to the match plate helps prevent sand from sticking to the pattern. When lifting up the cope or top half of the mold, alignment pins on both sides of the flask allow a perfectly straight lift. The same alignment pins guide the match plate when it is lifted. Each of the four castings, snake catcher handles, has a slot for a trigger. This slot is formed by setting hard resin coated shell cores in the mold. Where there is a core, metal will not fill the space, hence a slot. By the same token, any loose sand in the cavity will prevent metal from completely filling the cavity and will cause a dimpled surface. Blowing away loose sand before pouring the metal is very necessary. The two halves of the mold, cope and drag, are aligned by the flask guide pins. By unhinging the flask and removing it from the mold, the flask is ready to make additional molds.